What's up smart people, Savari Tech here and in this tutorial I will show you how to install Windows 11 using VMware Fusion 12. Now if you don't have any VMware Fusion at all, I would suggest you get the 13 since it's better and you don't have to perform all this tests that I'm about to perform to install Windows 11. The first thing you need to do is you need to, with VMware Fusion open, you need to update your Fusion. If you haven't done that yet, just check for updates and see what the latest is. After you do that, you'll go to virtual, um, you'll go to file, new, and you will select your ISO to install. If you don't have an ISO or you don't know to do that, perform the following steps and you should have one on your computer. Open a browser, type in Windows 11 download on the Microsoft website, scroll down and select your edition and hit download. It'll give you an option for language. You'll select your language, hit confirm, and then you can download it. Once you have your Windows 11 ISO, you'll select install from disk or image, continue, and um, if you don't have this yet, let's just assume that you don't have any of that. You'll say use another disk or image. You'll go to where your Windows 11 ISO is and you'll click on open. The reason I had that here is because I had previously installed a Windows 11 on that. But yours will probably not have that if you haven't. So we'll hit continue and we'll select Windows 10 and later X64 and continue again. You'll select UEFI. UFI Secure Boot, you'll check this, you'll click Continue, and here there are a couple of important customizations that you need to make. So I'll hit Customize Settings, I'll call this Windows 11, something memorable, hit Save. It'll open this panel, this Settings panel, and the first thing you need to do here is you need to encrypt your machine your cat uh, your vm machine and the reason you do that is because it requires a tpm and in order for a tpm to be there you have to have it encrypted so you go to encryption enable encryption set a password that you will remember of course mac has this option where you say remember password but still so encryption is added I'll hit OK, go back to show all, and now you need, very importantly, you need to go to memory here, and preset the processor in memory, and add 4 gigs of RAM, which is 4096, and that is the minimum re recommended for Win 11. So with that setting, you can go back to show all, and then here in this panel the settings panel you click on add device now you can add trusted platform module which i will add a card that explain what it is so go back to show all and the next thing you need to do is you need to go on add advanced here and ensure that this is ufi this is checked here enable ufi secure boot and then enable virtualization based security and if you have all those selected you can go back to show all with all of those performed i think we should be ready to get started let's check so you close this hit the play button here and you have to be fast with this click in the window as soon as possible and start tapping on a button space bar or whatever and then it'll boot to your Windows 11 setup. We will go with the classic settings. We'll hit next, install now. Depending on your computer, this might be a fast or slow process and it might restart and all that stuff. So I'll say I don't have a product key. I'll go, I'll go with, with Windows, Windows 11 Home, home. Next. next. I accept, next. And I'll select custom install. Once you get to this part, you should be able to.
to install Windows 11. Otherwise, it will tell you it will tell you something like your PC doesn't have the minimum requirements for Windows 11. So I'll select this one and I'll hit next here and it's installing Windows. Now normally you should be able to finish this by yourself but in case you're encountering the same problem as me then even if you try connecting adapter it won't so you don't have any internet what you need to do is you need to do shift fn f10 and it'll bring this command prompt windows window and you'll type oobe oobe all caps backslash bypass nro hit enter it will restart it and then when it opens up you can skip the internet part here now you can see i don't have internet i select i don't have internet continue with limited setup and once you get all your settings right you should be ready to use your windows 11 vm I'll maximize this it'll be a little blurry but if you do a right click here you can go to display settings adjust the resolution to this one here I'll keep the changes and it should fit your screen as normal this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll keep coming with more of those videos. Thank you.